Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Courtney Crosby and today's tutorial is going to be on this flannel slash plaid slash tartan set of nails. I know that you can achieve this look with a stamp, but just because you can doesn't mean you have to. I have hand painted these nine nails and I've just got one left to do. I've already painted it red so we can just jump straight into the tutorial and I can show you how to hand paint this design. So I've painted this red with Essential Nails Red Riding Hood. I've done two coats and I haven't put a top coat on. It's still sticky. I'm going to be using a base gel from MIG and the matte top coat from MIG. I've also got the black tulip gel from MIG. This is a foil gel, but I really like the consistency of it for fine detailing. So I'm going to be using that. And I've got two brushes. I've got a flat gel brush and a fine detail brush. So first you want to take a little bit of your base gel and just put it on a little dish or a piece of tin foil or something. Just a little bit. And then you can take some black gel. What you want to do is just create kind of a black glass effect. So I'm just going to get the tiniest bit. This is such a highly pigmented gel. So I just want to get a little bit and mix it in and make that kind of a clear black color. And once you've done that, and you can take your flat brush, what we're going to do is just draw on the guidelines for the tartan look, and that's going to help you when you go in to color the rest. So just get a little bit on your brush. Um, I'm going to do it on this side. Okay, and you're going to do the two horizontal lines. I know this isn't a very bold look right now, but it's just going to be a guide for you and it's going to give the design a little bit of depth. So put that in your light to cure for however long you need to. I'm going to go for 60 seconds in my new Sun 9 lamp. Okay, so that has come out of the light. Now you're going to take your fine detail brush and a black gel. I highly recommend that you get either this gel or another highly pigmented thick gel. If you're trying to do this with gel polish, it's going to be incredibly difficult. So what you want to do first is draw on the squares where the two lines have joined. So I'm going to draw a square here Once you have your squares done, you're going to go ahead and do the, the lines. So when you're using your fine detail brush, make sure that you don't have very much paint on it. If you have a little ball at the end of your brush, then that is going to make your line too thick. So just make sure that you have even coverage on your brush. Go in and set your brush down in the direction that you want to go and just drag it all the way down, adding a little bit more pressure as you go down the line. And that will keep your line consistent. So we're just gonna do that, get them as close together as you want or as close as you can, and go down every 
spot that you did with the clear black. And that's that done. So now you're going to put that in your light to cure for however long you need to. Uh, my black is quite thick in the square bits, so I'm going to go for two minutes in my Sun 9 lamp. Okay, so that's the design come out of the lamp. Now we just need to put our top coat on. I'm using the Finished Frozen Gel from Mick. I wanted to talk to you about this matte gel polish top coat because usually when you put them on they're a little bit cloudy um, and I got this through and I put it on and it looked like a high shine top coat and I thought to myself I really hope this hasn't been mislabeled I really wanted a matte top coat oh there's a piece of glitter on there um, and that would have really made me quite angry so I put it on a nail anyway and I stuck it in the lamp and what I saw happen before my eyes was like magic. So I'm going to see if I can capture that on video for you. I don't know if it will because the light is blue, but we're going to have a shot anyway. So have a look at this. It's shiny. And it just goes matte. It's incredible. So I'm going to leave that in for 60 seconds and then we'll come back and see the finished result. So that is the finished nail. Can we just take a minute to appreciate this matte top coat because it's absolutely incredible. I'm going to show you it beside my old matte top coat so you can see the difference. Most matte top coats that I've seen look like this. When you put them on, they're a little bit cloudy, like they have cornstarch in them, and they still dry with a little bit of shine, and then they do absorb some dirt. This one is a non-wipe matte top coat. It dries absolutely baby powder soft, and I had it on my baby boomer nails, for two weeks I spilled espresso on them and everything and they didn't stain at all. So how incredible is that? I've done one over with a high shine top coat as well. So you can do it either way. I prefer it with the matte top coat but it looks okay like that as well. So I'm going to slot this in to its home just here and these are ready for a customer. If you want to know more about making display tips and selling them, I have an article on my blog, bigc.littlec. Bigc.littlec? No, bigclittlec.com. I'll put the link in the description box below and I'll put a link to all the products that I've used today. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my videos. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this design and if you try it, tag me in your pictures so I can have a look. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.